Number 17. The ionization constant for water, which is Kw, is 9.311 times 10 to the negative 14th at 60 degrees Celsius. And from that information, we have to calculate the H3O plus concentration, the OH minus concentration, the pH, and the pOH for pure water at 60 degrees Celsius. Cool. Okay, so what I labeled and listed down here are the start of some of the formulas that we need to memorize um, for this chapter. So I listed them into acidic equations, basic equations, and equations that you will see both acidic and basic properties for. Now the first thing that I want to say here is that they do say H3O+, plus, but I don't like that. Just know that H3O plus is the same as just saying H+. Plus. They're identical to each other. The only difference is that if we're saying H+, plus, we're only taking one water into consideration. And when you're talking about H3O plus, you just are talking about two waters interacting with each other. But the basis is exactly the same. Now, they're talking about water, right? So we know that water is H2O, right? And maybe I will drop this down a little bit because when water breaks up, right? When water disassociates, remember the two ions that are part of water is an H and an OH. The break is not, you know, all hydrogen and all oxygen. The break is H and OH. And that's how you get H plus plus OH minus. Whoop, what happened there? There we go. So this is what I was saying earlier. When I say H plus, we're just breaking down one water as opposed to H3O plus where you would have two waters interacting with each other. But anyway, now let's figure out what these values actually are. Well, did we know how much H plus was in this solution? No. So if I don't know something, I'll label it as X. And I take note that there was no coefficient in the front, right? Technically, that's only one H plus. Now, coming over to OH minus, there was also no number in front. So it's also a one. So it's a one to one relationship. So if you label H plus as X, what are you going to label OH minus? Yeah, an X as well. And now we can use this formula because they did state that the KW was equal to 9.311 times 10 to the negative 14th. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and make this a little bigger and maybe throw it over here. Because now we know that the KW value is this, and we labeled that H plus was X, and OH minus was also X. So we only got one variable, we got X. So we can use this formula to solve for the X value. So let's get going. 9.311 times 10 to the negative 14th equals, and maybe I'll just put these in parentheses for now. We have the red X, which was the H plus, and the blue X, which was the uh, hydroxide. But remember, X times X, that's the same thing as x squared. So now I have 9.311 times 10 to the negative 14th, and this all equals x squared. Well, how are you going to get rid of that squared? You're still going to try to solve for x, so I'll just take the square root. That's the opposite. But you got to do whatever is done on the other side. So calculate out. Square root of 9.311 times 10 to the negative 14th. And we got four sig figs going on here, so I'll give it right back. So we got x equals 3.051. And that's times 10 to the negative seventh. Okay. H plus was x, and OH minus was x. So if I just maybe list it over here, and I put my little brackets, we have H plus. 
then OH minus. They both were X, so they're both just going to be this number. So they're both going to be 3.051 times 10 to the negative 7th, and that's in units of molarity. Remember, brackets just means molarity, concentration. So 3.051 times 10 to the negative 7th, molarity. Okie dokie. All right. So now, whoop, two out of the four, check. Now we just have to find the pH and the pOH. So pH, the H is linked with the H+. Plus. If you're trying to find the pH, all you got to do is just take the negative log of the H plus concentration. So I'll say pH equals negative log of the H plus, which was this. We just found that out. So we'll say 3.051 times 10 to the negative 7th. And now we just put that in the calculator. So let's see. Ooh, what happened there? Where'd they go? There we go. So negative log of 3.051 times 10 to the negative seventh. And the sig figs of the pH is a little bit weird. If you want to find out correct sig figs with pH, the total number of sig figs is the number of sig figs after the decimal. So in this case, I'm going to extend this out by saying it's 6.5156 because there was a total of four sig figs here. So you should have four sig figs after the decimal. And there's your first answer. And pH does not have any units. It's just a number. Now we just have to do the same thing for the pOH. But pOH is the negative log of the OH minus. But they're exactly the same. So do I really need to put this into the calculator? No. But I just want to kind of show you guys the process because we're just getting our feet a little bit wet for this chapter. We're still getting in the groove. So this would be 6.5156 as well. So there's your POH. And since all these values are the same, that's why water is neutral because the H plus is equal to the OH minus. The acidic H is equal to the acidic OH. So they cancel each other out, and that's why water is neutral. All right. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Let's keep working hard, and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.